guys thank you again for watching my video so today finally i'm going to show you how to sideload apps on your japanese flip phones so today i'm going to be using my kyocera 902 kc so just go ahead uh, whatever phone you have just go to your settings and then go to about phone this could look different on your phone um, but it's definitely going to be under settings for reference this is what it looks like on my uh, sharp phone so about phone is under other settings and yours could be similar or it could be a little bit different so just go and look for it all right so again about phone and then um, you want to click that and then find build number. So you wanna click this a few times until it says uh, developer options enabled. Mine is already enabled as you can see, so it's not gonna do anything. But once you have it enabled, just go back to your settings. And then now you should see an option that says developer options. Um, once again, it could look different on yours, so just look for it. So under developer options, scroll down until you see USB debugging, make sure it's on. By default, this is gonna be off. So you wanna make sure you turn this on. Now let's go ahead and connect the phone to your computer. Um, first time you connect it, it's gonna give you a prompt. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click allow. And the next step is to go to your browser. So it doesn't matter what laptop or computer you have, you just need to go to your computer's browser. I believe it has to be Chromium based. Um, so I'm using Chrome. So go to this website, which is webadb.com. And then just press start. Once you hit start, it's gonna take you to this page. And then on the left side, it's gonna say available devices. It's gonna be grayed out. So just go ahead and click add. And then it's gonna show your phone name, click connect, and then just hit connect. Now you're gonna get a prompt on your phone uh, to allow it um, or okay it. So just go ahead and do that. Um, let's go ahead and click okay. All right, so now it's connected. It's going to say disconnect. Um, it means the phone is already connected to web ADB. Now, the question is, where do you get apps or how do you install apps? So you want to download um, APK file format of the apps that you want and where you can get them from varies. So just make sure, make sure you just do some research. It doesn't take a long time. It just takes like five minutes to download or to look up where to get apps. So for starters, you can get apps from websites like APK Mirror or Aptoid. So once you have your APK files downloaded to your computer, just um, go under install APK. From here, you want to click open and then just look for the APK file that you downloaded. So I'm going to hit open. And then in this example, we're, we're just installing the TT9 keypad or keyboard. So I'm going to open this or I'm going to click this and then click open. Okay, so now it's going to start uploading the APK file. So you just wait until it says completed. Once it says completed, um, it means it's been installed on your phone. So you can either do the same thing for the other apps that you have, um, or you can just simply hit disconnect. So now your phone should have the app that you uploaded. So in this case, we should have the TT9 keyboard app, which as you can see, it shows it here. Um, but I would recommend getting Aurora store APK file instead. Again, search APK mirror or something. And because um, once you have Aurora store, it would let you directly download apps from it instead of connecting your phone to a computer. Um, that would be a lot easier as well. So just to show you, this is the Aurora store. 
Um, it's going to have options like Messenger, Spotify, and it just makes your life a whole lot easier. So, yep, this is a short guide. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. And again, as always, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe the video. <laughs> Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.